so they're They've com they complete the, the assessment, they get feedback, and then they're doing presentations on that. Yes, I mean, we believe that one of the key skills in evidence-based medicine is not only being able to acquire the knowledge, but to share it and show how it is applicable um, more widely, and to share it with your fellow students, being able to um, present material in a, in a succinct way, um, in an informative way, is an important communication skill, which we emphasize here in the clinical skills department and um, so having done the summative component of the um, essay um, and received their mark and received their feedback we asked them to then further reflect and prepare a short presentation which they can share within their clinical skills tutor groups um, under the tutelage of their um, usual facilitator. Does it add anything else other than you know that ability to communicate and and I suppose articulate their understanding of that particular aspect of evidence-based medicine. Are there any other things that it's actually given? I think them? it gives them an opportunity to a, pre present material that they've um, prepared themselves and to um, practice communicating quite complex medical ideas and statistical ideas to their peers. Um, and then also to um, test their understanding of um, the material by answering questions on it and then more widely just to share their experience of doing the, the piece of work um, and what they've learned and what they've learned about evidence-based medicine more more widely and then there's just the kind of interest um, aspect of it that um, students find it interesting having done a piece of work themselves just to hear what other people have done and to appreciate you know the various difficulties and also perhaps some of the evidence of some of the skills that they've learnt during the course of their first year.